Welcome viewers to a new series of Stellaris. I have decided to ditch the previous series for, well, I kind of just got frustrated by the whole experience. And the fact that I was going to be recording one episode a week really did not help. Uh, basically, I did not like playing the hive mind. I felt like, I mean, for one thing, it was really very high difficulty, or whatever it's called in this game, which means everyone around us, despite having less planets or whatever, were already stronger than us. But the fact that they were able to get alliance with each other, and I simply could not, it just was a frustrating experience. I did not enjoy it, and I don't know. I think Hive Mind will work just fine if you get really lucky at start or something, it can really blob out. But as it is, I just did not enjoy it. So, instead we're going to start a new campaign. So let's go ahead and hit new, and see how it goes. I'm going to try to have this one, not just one episode away, I'm going to try and do, like, more, you know, more. So let's start, uh, let's create a new species, a new empire as we always do, or as I always do anyway. Appearances. We could just be a lame looking human. We could be one of these weird looking aliens, we could be a space elves. It's always fun being space elves. I don't know. Let's have a quick look through here, see what I like. It could be a bird. Birds are kind of cool. Birds are kind of cool. Makes me think of Tangri for some reason, I'm not sure why. Tangri being uh, a religion. Doesn't really exist anymore, it was more like the religion of Central Asia. Sorry, I'm just kind of like going off European Renaissance and uh, other historical games like that. Yeah, I actually kind of like this bird. Wow, actually no, I like you. Yes, I like you. Can I change your color, I wonder? Can I change your color? Yes, I can. Awesome. Okay, so let's give a species a name. I know it's not a flamingo, but I just find it funny. Uh, plural. Flamingos. Adjective. Pink horror. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, flamingo. Adjective for flamingo. I don't even know what adjective for flamingo is. I don't even know why I decided to choose the word flamingo, but let's just go with it, okay? Uh, flaming. We are flaming. Next. Uh, what is this? Oh, the names. Okay. Uh, and I haven't played this game in ages. I just wanted to play this game again, and I just did not feel like firing up the previous save. Okay. Uh, which one of these sounds cool? Wings of maroon. Plumes of... Silver, isn't this what we used last time? Feathers of purple, that was different. Yeah, I like this. These are awesome names. Okay, and F for flaming. F for of flock. F F F. Yes, flock, flaming flock of flamingos. Oh man, that sounds horrible. F F O F. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's have a quick look through here. Now, some things are very useful. I I know I do try to, like I'm not usually too role play with this, I do try to make perks which actually feel useful to me. Let's just go with, adaptive is actually really useful, extremely adaptive, because that bit pretty much lets us sit on any planet, so it means we don't have to be picky, so that really helps. Uh, but we do have to have some downsides, so consumer goods cost, happiness without slaves, decadent. Okay, don't want that. Lead a lifespan minus 10. Uh, okay, sure. I don't mind that too much. How many are we allowed? We can pick three more. Wow, they've actually increased the number, I'm pretty sure. Governing ethics attraction. That's bad. Ruler opinion impact. That's bad. Happiness. That's bad. Sedimentary. Migration speed. I'm, that's okay. I'll take that. They are weak. Uh, we have one trade point left. Uh, slow breeders is bad. Okay, if we want to pick one more, what do we want? So we're weak, sedimentary, fleeting, but extremely adaptive. I know this sounds really weird. Ooh, ruler opinion impact. That could be very useful for being diplomatic. Communal is also really great as well. I think all the other really good ones, like intelligent, costs two. And I don't see any other negative I can pick here. Non-adaptive. Yeah, I'm not going to pick that. That'd be just weird. 
we are extremely adaptive and non-adaptive. Makes total sense. I mean, deviance would make a lot of sense. But I don't want to pick that. Now let's pick Kabuno, simply because it's useful. So we are extremely adaptive with fleeting, sedimentary, weak, and Kabuno. Name. Okay, Sign Ruler. Okay, this is going to make absolutely no sense to you at all, but I'm going to pick Stacy. Why? I guess the reason why I'm thinking of Flamingo is because my sister has got this Flamingo doll, and she likes... I don't know, it looks... she likes it, but everyone else who sees it finds it creepy. And she calls it Stacy, and she calls every single Flamingo doll she has Stacy. So I'm going to call this one Stacy. Uh, female... Uh, no, it's name. Wait, what is this? Ruler title. Okay, so Stacy. The ruler title for females would be. Wait. Wait, is. What? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, okay, ruler title. I'm sorry I'm dedicating a whole freaking episode just to do this rather than playing the game. But I, this is kind of necessary to even start a game, you know? So, ruler title. Terrifying. That makes no sense, does it? <laughs> my terrifying... It's like, instead of like saying my president, it's like my terrifying. That, that makes no sense. So that's not a title, that's an adjective. Okay, um... I guess... Okay, just say flock leader. It makes more sense. Like... Yeah, that just makes more sense. Okay, color variance. I don't think it was a pink one, was there? The closest to pink is... The closest to pink... It's orange, which is not very pink at all. Yeah, red will do. Change the room slightly. Yep, that looks great. Clothes. Oh yes, that looks great. Okay, next. Uh, we will be... Doesn't really matter too much, but I imagine... Flamingos coming from an African-like world, so I'm going to pick an Aaron world. Okay. Oh, they give it a name. Okay, what do we want to call this? Flamingos, birds, a star name, homeworld name. I really should have thought about this beforehand, rather than recording this as I go. Uh, homeworld name. I guess let's call this arid, arid. The Great Plains. The Great Plains. No, that doesn't make no sense. The Great Nest. The Great Nest. Star name. Um, Holy Trinity. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna be random here. Uh, we are going to be an avian city. Okay, what? Wait, what? Communal requires one of following governing ethics. What? So traits actually affects Ethics? That's news to me. I mean, I guess that's part of the problem of when I picked Hive Mind, it really disables a lot of things. Well, I am going. This looks so different now, by the way. I always love Spiritualist. I love Spiritualist because of the Mize on. Wow, they changed it. It used to be happiness, now it's unrest. Still, let's say I pick a Spiritualist anyway. I have one point left. What else can I go for? So I can't go for Materialist, which actually looks really tempting because research speed plus 10%. That's different as well, I'm pretty sure. They've changed a lot. A Pacifist? It could be a Pacifist. Oh, wow. Core System Systems. Uh, sector System plus 2. That's actually pretty good. Yes, we are Fanatic, Spiritualists, and Pacifists. <laughs> of course, we're going to go to war a lot, but that's not the point. The point is we are Pacifists. Totally. We are totally Pacifists. Okay, um, we can be democratic, oligarchic, dictatorial, or imperial. Well, I actually do like democratic because it lets you pick a new leader pretty often. And it lets you pick new perks based off that. Uh, so civics, we can pick two civics. Great, what do we want? Meteorocracy. Uh, useless. Police state. Uh, okay. Uh, environmentalist. I don't actually know what consumer goods cost is, by the way. Uh, cutthroat polit politics. Monthly influence, not bad. Igerian Ido. Farms produces one. Wow, that's amazing. Hell yes. We are Igerian. I don't know how that makes any sense whatsoever, but we are Igerian. 
Uh, election influence cost minus fifty percent. Meh. Mining guilds. Empire mineral production plus ten percent. Eh, not bad. Parliamentary faction influence gain. I don't really know what that means. E efficient bureaucracy. Oh wow, that's amazing. I remember last time I was complaining so much about how few core systems we start off with. If I take, uh, where was it? Efficient bureaucracy, and I'm a pacifist. That's plus four core systems of in the get go. That's amazing. Start again with four pops being of another subservient species. Syncretic evolution. Does that mean you get four additional pops? That doesn't sound like a good thing. That sounds like a terrible thing. Oh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, have a, oh, wow. Have to be militarist. What do I get for militarist? Better ships, basically. Can I use unrestricted wars policies? Uh, actually, you know what? That sounds like a terrible idea. We want unrestricted wars. So, would this make other people dislike us? You know what? Who cares? Okay, here's what I'm going to pick. Efficient bureaucracy. So, because I want to have, uh, be able to do whatever wars I want. I don't want to be forced to be only doing liberation wars. That'd be so boring and, yeah, that's terrible. Fire weapons, eight percent. Wow, war culture. Eh, whatever. Let's have a quick look through this again. Citizen service plus fifty percent naval capacity is actually pretty damn good. Or I can just have better ships. Oh. Border range plus 10%, that's amazing. Okay, I'm going for that. Border range plus 10%, sounds great. So, we have efficient bureaucracy and nationalist zeal. Sounds great. Uh, next will be empire flag. So, we are the empire of the flaming flamingos. Adjective, flaming. Okay. Uh, we need a flag. Let's see what's in here. Oh, sweet. That looks pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, I want... Oh, that has to be gold, does it? That's okay. Probably color. Pink. Pink. No. Also, the symbol looks terrible. Pink. Uh, where's pink? And primary color can be, uh, let's make it yellow to symbolize the arid, aridness around us. No, that looks weird. How about this? That just looks weird. How about feather? How about this? That looks pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I am not even sure what I'm trying to do here. Like, that actually looks pretty cool. It's like, the yellow represents the sand dunes, the blue represents the sky of an arid world. Okay, I wanted to put pink in the flag, but you know what, screw it, this looks pretty good. Unless I can replace the orange with pink! Oops, the wrong one. Serial color of pink! Eh, yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Yeah, let's go for it, Empire of the Flaming Flamingos. Sounds great. Uh, last time I picked energy weapons, because energy weapons look awesome, I still think missile weapons are shit, unless something is change completely. Uh, so I guess it's really edgy weapons or projectile weapons. Uh, I think edgy weapon looks cooler, but let's go for projectile weapons again. E no, uh, I think they look cooler. Let's go for edgy weapons. They just look cooler. And uh, wormhole again. Although we could try something else this time. So because I always play wormhole. I say no, I just like wormhole, you know. I don't like warp. It's pretty much hyperspace or wormhole. Hyperspace could be fun. And you could actually set up a game to be hyperspace only, but no, let's pick wormhole because I like wormhole more. And we're obviously going to be avian ships. Uh, anything else we need to do? Nope. We are the empire of the flaming flamingos. And from the great nest, we're fleeting, sedimentary, we're weak, extremely adaptive, and communal. We are democratic with efficient bureaucracy and nationalistic zeal. We're militarist and fanatic spiritualist. Let's save this. And done. Huge. Oh, they haven't added any more galaxy shapes. That's a real shame. Uh, AI empires are maxed out. Advanced AI stars. Just said to be default. Habitable was 1.5 already. 
Okay, cool. Difficulty is insane. Our aggressiveness is high. Yeah, sure. Allow after our method. Anything. Implied placement clusters. Minus neighbors on and game crisis on Iron Man mode on this play. Okay, that was 15 minutes of literally setting up the empire. Oh well. So, in the eons since the first primitive flamingo communities took place, uh, took shape in the dry canyons and masses of the Great Nest, our civilization has spread and prospered. As we advance through the ages, many of our earliest nation states suffered greatly from the constant power struggles between the military and civilian institutions that governed society. A compromise was reached in a new form of government, where one could not exist without the other. Now, after the, the successful creation of artificial subspace wormholes, the finest mind of the Empire of the Flaming Flamingos finished construction of the first wormhole station at the edge of our system. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Begin. Okay, we are at the very edge, sort of. Oh, can we reach that? I think we cannot. We cannot, darn. Although I bet if I build a station right here, I can reach it. Maybe. Because if we can get to our outer room, that'd be great. Oh man, our color is so blinding. We are in the Two Fangs Nebula right now. Okay, so a few basic things. Fleet 1 for you. Construction ship and science ship. Okay, so science ship is obviously going to survey a system. Research. Research, research, research. Naval capacity plus 10, sounds good. Uh, claws of green, beaks of white, claws of ivory, yeah, sounds good. Claws of green, uh, you can go research uh, better, la sorry, not better lasers, faster research. And as for you, we can go research how to do fracking, no. Uh, iron thrusters or engineering facility, let's go engineering facility. Uh, what else do we want to do? That's about it, really. That's about it. Well, this car's actually really blinding. It's kind of annoying me. Eh, yeah, I'm trying to get used to it though. Okay, this fleet needs to split up to just one. And I have not played this game in a while. The first murder. <laughs> Go explore all our neighboring systems. We can see there's a 15 size plan here already. Okay, that's fine. And we'll just get a game started here in this episode. I'm going to try to limit myself to 40 minute episodes, just like I've been doing in European Universalis, because I think that's... For one thing, it's actually easier for me as well, that I don't have to do such crazy long episodes like I've done in the past. Which made sense for XCOM, but doesn't make as much sense for these games, where the time limit is arbitrary. Okay, anything else we want to do? Construction ship has nothing to do, so let's have a look at the Great Nest. We can... Okay, we have a governor, minus five unrest. Okay, we can pick. No edicts. We can. Oh, we're weak. Uh, oh, that's right, we're weak. Great. That's not great, is it? Um, okay, okay. We cannot afford to build a colony ship. But we do start off with the ability to build them, which is kind of nice. Do I want to build anything on this planet? Not really. Maybe food. That will certainly help speed up uh, my ability to expand further. But other than that, I don't really see anything worthwhile building here, to be honest. So I'm maybe just clear the slums and I can build a mine here. Yeah, seems like a good idea. Let's do that. Okay, let's get on to it. Now, what I could have done there was... Ooh, factions. We had no factions. What I could have done there was hire a governor. And I kind of have to re-familiarize me, uh, myself with this game because I haven't played in such a long time. Oh, we have Orbital Research Mandate. Oh, cool. Now that I remember. Seriously, this blue is so blinding. And the fact that the font is white, which makes it even harder. I wonder if there's a way of changing that to be a darker blue, because I actually don't like that blue. It's actually really annoying, it's obnoxious. Oh uh, well. Hopefully we can get a few decent things in the early surveys around our system. Let's make sure you guys are docked up. And speed the game up to fast. Okay, nothing so far. A shame. 
a real shame. Uh, we do want to get... Oh, how do you get there again? How do you actually get there? Here we go, Unity. We do want to get expansion as soon as possible. Was it expansion? Was it... Uh, I can't remember which one it was that let you build uh, the settler, the colonizing ships with energy instead of... instead of uh, minerals. Where the heck was it? I know here somewhere. Oh, let's, unpa let's pause. Uh, let's unpause the game. <laughs> I was stuck between saying pause and unpause. Like, wait, which one's correct? Ooh, oh, that's quick. Uh, let's go back to a great nest and let's go ahead and build ourselves a mine here. Or we can build an Ultra Triton monument. But no, let's build a mine. And if we go back to here, discovery. Adoption effect, nope. Diplomacy, definitely nope. Supremacy, nope. Domination, nope. Prosperity, nope. Oh, here it is. Transstellar Corporation. So we could go for prosperity first. Oh, goody. I see minerals for me to exploit. Awesome. Oh, more minerals for me to build mines on. Uh, no, 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 you stay back. I'll try to go through the first part of this game a little quicker than I have done the previous uh, two series because a lot of it is the same. A lot of the early game doesn't change. Oh my god, look how blinding that is. That is just obscene, you know? This is ridiculous. This blue really is way too bright. <sighs> ah well. We don't even have a citizen to work here. Is there any point in this mine? Arguably, no, there isn't. That said, the food. Don't really need a food that badly, do we? Oh well. I think we'll cut it here, so I hope you enjoyed this first episode. I'll see you guys next time for more of, well, I guess, the Empire of the Flaming Flamingos. Until then, I'll see you later.